Hi, my name is Kamisha Martin. I'm the metalsmith and owner of Lola Soul Jewelry, where we make unique, fearless, wearable art. And you're watching DETV. You can't you have to hold it like this because the um, butane doesn't like to go that direction. Okay. Okay, but you want that. You want to go closer. You see that cone? That, uh -huh. right? You want to get that touch in the metal. There you go. Alrighty. Okay. Now move it because oh. you've been heating that one piece for quite a while. So just, yeah, move it all the way around. Lola's Soul Session was started because um, people would ask me if I uh, do workshops of any kind. Do I teach people how to make jewelry? And I would always say no. Um, I don't teach workshops. I don't teach people how to make jewelry. And really that did come from somewhat of a fear of my own. And that's because I'm a self-taught metalsmith. I've taken, you know, workshops. I've taken classes here and there. But over the last nine years, I've really taught myself how to make jewelry. So um, I break a lot of the rules. <laughs> And you have to know the rules in order to break the rules. So I didn't want to teach workshops um, because I didn't want to teach people the wrong way of doing it. I wanted them to learn the correct way of doing it. And then if they wanted to do things differently, they could. But after the 50th person asked me if I taught workshops, I said, well, let me reassess this. Um, people are asking me that because they like my jewelry. So if they like my jewelry and I'm upfront that I kind of break the rules a little bit um, and they still want to learn from me then so be it. So I started the Lola Soul Sessions as a way to do it in a very gentle, easy, um, relaxed atmosphere. And it's for people who've never really made jewelry before, but um, they take a minute to, to pull out their creative selves, take a minute to pull out their Lola Soul and do something that might not be in their comfort zone. So it starts them off with something gentle and easy to make and then I have um, other levels where they can come back later if they want and make something a little bit more difficult. So the Lola Soul Sessions give an opportunity for people to learn how to make a piece of jewelry that they've created and designed themselves and to wear it every day or whenever they wear it they remind themselves of how fearless they are. Because whenever somebody wears some Lola Soul jewelry, I want them to be reminded of how fearless they are because that's what our mission is. So if people want to come to a Lola Soul session, there's a couple ways they can find out. They can always go to our website at www.lolasoul.com and that's L-O-L-A-H-S-O-U-L.com. So they can go there um, and click on Lola Soul session and they can see a list of all of our public Lola Soul sessions. Um, we also post them on our social media, so it's going to be on um, Instagram or Twitter. And we also have a Facebook page, which is a great way for people to stay up to date with when our sessions are. Also, if people want to have a more intimate session, they can have a private Lola Soul session. So what that means is they can host it at their house or at a venue of their choice and they can invite their family and friends to come and I'll come to them and I'll guide them on creating a piece of jewelry. So you can either do a public Lola Soul session or you can do a private one. And the great thing is that we've partnered with other small businesses in order for people to go to a preferred venue, a Lola Soul preferred vendor, um, if they want to have an outside session, like not in their home, but they want to have it someplace else. They can always use one of our preferred uh, vendors and they'll get special pricing if they do that. I'm trying to encourage people to do things for Mother's Day, make Mother's Day oh, presents, or bring their moms, make something, you know. So. <laughs> Turn it around, girl! Yes! I love it. You did a great job with that.